Data monetization is the process by which an organization takes the data that it generates in its interactions with its clients and puts it together into new services that are sold to third parties who would be interested in that data. One of the key questions we get asked when we engage with our clients around building a data monetization business is, how do I know if my data has value? There's a number of things you can look at to, uh, to understand this. First of all, most data monetization businesses are built around transaction-level data, transactions between a business and another business, a business and its consumers, or between machines. For example, the NASDAQ, um, which is a machine-to-machine -machine exchange, sells its data to the market for the purposes of helping to understand how um, trades are getting executed. The other aspect of data monetization, whether the data has value, is can the transactions be individually subscribed to a person or to an entity? That way I can connect the behavior with an entity, be it a business or an individual consumer. And if I have that connection, then I can put the entities into like groups, and that's going to be of huge interest to those third parties that are going to be interested in the information. The last point I would make around the, whether or not the data has value is, is the, is the data voluminous? Is it of frequent types of transactions? You can see this in um, consumer credit. Insurance companies are looking at trying to monetize their data. They have very, very infrequent high-value transactions versus, for example, a credit card issuer, where the transactions are very, very frequent. There's a huge ability to then segment people into very, very precise behavioral categories, and that data is considered much more valuable because it's much more frequent. Those are the types of things that we try to talk to our clients about to help them understand, does their data have value? And with that foundation, they can then use that information to go and assess, well, who would be interested in this data, and how do we get it to market most efficiently?